Are you there? Nope. How about here? Aww. <gasps> I found one. Look, look. Way over there. Um, I think that's the moon rising behind the tree, Scout. Oh. Ooh, I think I see one. No, that's just a normal fly. Fireflies are special. What makes them so special? Well, they glow. That's special. And they only like to come out when the sun goes down. And I think they talk to each other by flashing their tails. Really? That's amazing. Flashy flash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying hello. <laughs> Flashy flash. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Wait, I hear something. Shh. Um, that sounds a lot bigger than a firefly. <gasps> it sounds like a book. I can hear it, but I can't see where it is. Flashy flash! Flashy flash! Down here! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes! Story time! Is everyone close and comfy? Close, close and comfy. comfy. Let the story begin. Daniel's Dinosaurs by Mary Carmine. Illustrated by Martin Bainton. Whoa! That's a huge dinosaur. Yeah, but he looks very friendly. Daniel loved dinosaurs. Wow, he has a lot of dinosaur toys. One, two, three, four. Oh, I give up. There's too many! <laughs> <laughs> when Daniel drew pictures, he drew pictures of dinosaurs. When he wrote stories, he wrote stories about dinosaurs. Wait! I thought dinosaurs lived a long time ago. You're right, Boomer. They aren't around anymore. Then how can Daniel see them? Yeah! And how can one of them work out a store, like we saw in the book's cover? Daniel's dinosaurs were everywhere. Two platyosaurs lived next door. Dinosaurs playing badminton? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think Daniel is imagining that he sees dinosaurs everywhere. Oh, because he loves them so much. Yeah. An Allosaurus directed traffic, and a small dinosaur barked at him as Daniel passed by on his way to school. Whoa, that Allosaurus is even bigger than a school bus. <laughs> I like that little one. He's cute. I wish you'd think of something else, said Daniel's mother. Why don't we visit the aquarium? It was a long drive to the city aquarium. All the way there, Daniel drew more dinosaurs. Look at all those dinosaurs. There are short ones, tall ones, flappy ones, and spiky ones. Awesome! A smiling ceratosaurus took their money at the ticket office. Daniel looked at the rock pools, seahorses, and little fish. Cool! They looked at the stingrays and stayed a long time. They looked at the octopuses and stayed even longer. Wow, I've never seen those animals before. They live deep down in the sea. I've only seen little fish in the sea. Me too! 
Then they looked at the sharks and stayed for a very long time indeed. Those sharks are the biggest fish I've ever seen. As they left, Daniel said goodbye to the smiling gray nurse shark at the ticket office. Wait a minute. Sharks don't sell tickets. Before, Daniel was thinking about dinosaurs all the time. And now, all he thinks about is sharks. I guess he really, really likes sharks now. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Book. Goodbye, Book. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Good work, Ducky. But I don't think we're playing chess anymore. Hello there, Book. Would you like to share a story with us and our duckling friend? Yes! Story time! Is everyone close and comfy? Close, close and, and comfy. comfy! Let the story begin! Sweet Dreams, Pout Pout Fish, by Deborah Deason. Pictures by Dan Hanna. This looks like a book about sleeping. <sighs> Drowsy Mr. Fish. Such a tired sleepyhead. Look, Pout Pout Fish is yawning. Is little duck here yawning sleepyhead yet? No, but he is a little calmer. <sighs> Let's keep reading. Time to get ready for your cozy seaweed bed. Hmm, I wonder what Pout Pout Fish does to get ready for bed. Brush your fishy teeth. Scrub your fishy face. Fetch your snoozy snuggly from its comfy cubby place. Maybe little Tucky needs a snoozy snuggly. <laughs> I think Scout is his snoozy snuggly. Now, a story and a song. He's reading a story, just like we're doing now. And a sweet dream's wish. Tuck in your fins. Sleep tight, Mr. Fish. Oh, look at Pout Pout Fish. He's sound asleep. <gasps> so is little Ducky. Finally. Let's go take him back to his mommy. Big Teeth Are These, by Sandrine Bow and Marjorie Bayal. Big teeth, but they might belong to something big, like a monster. Or they might not, Scout. Let's read and find out, okay? Okay. Whose black hairs are these? Black. All black. It's got black fuzzy hair, just like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, wait. Here is a white bit. What is it? I think it's a tooth. Cool. I guess, as long as it's only one tooth. Whose big teeth are these? Look at all those big teeth. Uh, don't worry. Lots of 
Lots of cute animals have really big teeth. Yeah, like bunnies. Mm, I guess that's true. Whose pointed ears are these? <gasps> Those don't look like bunny ears. Let's turn the page and figure this out. Good idea. Whose bright eyes are these? Very bright eyes. Whose long paws are these? <laughs> Those are funny looking feet. My feet are funny too. See? Whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you do have funny feet, Boomer. Whose sharp claws are these? <gasps> claws? I don't want to see what comes next. I do. Me too. But aren't you afraid? If we find out whose claws they are, then we'll know. And maybe if we find out what it is, you won't be afraid. Really? Really. Whose bushy tail is this? Okay. Whatever it is, it has a tail. A nice bushy tail. So shaggy and fuzzy. Who? Who? It could be a kitty cat. Or a tiger, ready to pounce. Roar! <laughs> what do you think, Scout? I'm not sure, but I want to find out. It's a baby wolf, cuddling its mother. Aww. A baby wolf. So cute. Those big teeth and sharp claws and pointy ears aren't so scary now that we know it's just a cuddly baby wolf in a book. Nope, they're not. I was a little scared when the book started, but I'm glad I listened to the whole story. It had such a cute and cuddly ending. Thank you. Bye. That's so not a dinosaur. So not a dinosaur. That's a good dinosaur. Roar. There you go. Who's a good boy? Yeah, you. Hi, dinosaur. Let's give you a nice scratch. There. Um, dinosaur, have you seen a book around? Arr! Arr! Boomer, you scared us. Especially the dinosaur. Roar! Yeah, Boomer, what are you doing? I'm Pirate Captain Boomer. This isn't a dinosaur, it's a pirate ship. Come on, me mateys. Let's climb up and look for a treasure. You mean a book? Arr, that's right, Scout. <laughs> you sure are a great pirate, Boomer. But I can't see your ship. Well, you're on it, Crystal, so be careful. Scout, do you see it? Um... I do, Pirate Captain Boomer. Now I do. Arr! Come on, let's go. Huh. But what about the dinosaur scout? Ugh. We need to pat him. The R scared him. Roar! You pat him, and I'll go with Boomer and look for books. Captain Boomer, I'm coming. Melody, I'm going to look for books. Over there, behind those rocks. Who's a good boy? Whoa! Blow me down! Hold tight, Scout! Arr! See any books? No, Pirate Captain Boomer. I mean, arr, no books. Wait! I do see something. It's Crystal. She's bobbing in the waves. I hope she's okay. Ahoy! Crystal! 
go. Huh? Arr! We'll save you. Arg, we're coming. Yeah. Shh. You're going to upset the eggs. Eggs? We're here to save you. Arr! Save me? I don't need saving. But I need help. Help me warm up these eggs so they'll hatch. You're right. There are so many of them. I'll help you. Huh? Arr! But we're pirates, Scout. Shh! The eggs. Scout, tell Boomer how they need quiet. Um, Captain Boomer, though... Arr! You're making the dinosaur all grumbly with all the R and the shh. Scout, let's go pat him. But this is a ship. R. It's a nest of eggs. Shh. It's a dinosaur. Roar! Roar! Scout, what do you think it is? Hmm. Um, it's a... a... Uh... <gasps> it's a place where books like to hide. Come on. Well, hello there, little piggy. <laughs> What's the pig saying, Melody? I don't know. I can't speak pig. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But I think the pig is trying to tell us something. <gasps> An apple. The pig must have sniffed it out with his cute piggy snout. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, piggy. Let me get it for you. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Come on, everybody. Four jumps are better than one. We need a new plan if we're going to get that apple down for the pig. Hmm, if only I were taller. I'll give you a boost, Scout. Uh, okay. Boom! Up you go! <laughs> Almost! Whoa! Uh -oh. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sorry, Scout. I guess I couldn't hold you up. But I know what can. That hay bale looks tall and sturdy. Great idea, Crystal. Boom! One hay bale coming right up. Here goes. Uh, uh, wow! <sighs> okay. Uh, 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 whoa! <gasps> whoa! Good try, Scout. Piggy, it's only a bird. <gasps> I know, if I were a bird, then I could fly up to the apple. What a great idea! Huh? It's a great idea for Scout to be a bird? But Scout doesn't have a beak. Or any feathers, or any, um... <gasps> wings! <gasps> That's right! Ta-da! Scout can use these to fly. You can try, Scout, but... I think you have to be a bird to fly. Just try, Scout. Yeah, Scout. Think birdy thoughts and hold on tight. Hmm. Okay. Flap, flap, flap. I love to, um, fly in the sky. Uh, I love to... I love to eat worms. <laughs> 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 tweet, tweet! Well, did I fly? Even a bit? No. Sorry, Scout. But your wing flapping did blow the apple a little. Boom! That's it! We'll blow the apple down. Everyone ready? Ready! ready. <laughs> then everyone, blow! <gasps> Oh, nothing. 
Nothing is working. Book sure made me miss Seymour. Come on, let's look for our stone friends. Is this yours, Crystal? <gasps> Does it have two dots like Dot Dot? Hmm. One, two, three. No, this is Dot Dot Dot. <gasps> I think I found yours, Scout. Mm. Nope, not cuddly like Seymour. Has anyone seen mine? Dippy Doo was gray and round. Melody, all the stones are gray and round. Yeah, but mine was a good dancer. How do you know if a stone is a good dancer? I can just tell. Not Seymour. No, nope. <sighs> I give up. I can't find mine. I can't find mine. Mine is gone, too. I can't find any of ours. Hmm. Hey, wait a sec. Instead of looking for yours and mine, let's say all these stones are ours. They're all our stone friends. Good thinking. But what will we name them? Well, this one is definitely Alphonse. And this is Jesse. And here's Tony Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Stripey. Ropey Floppy. Gertrude. Jacob. Michelle. Patty. Milo. But where? Let's go look. Okay, little ducky. Let's go find your mommy. Oh, look. They're all sleeping. So cute. Nap time, ducky. Hop in. He doesn't look like he wants to take a nap. Well, playing is way more fun. Quack, quack. Boomer, shh. You'll wake the duckies. Oops. Quack, quack. Come on, everyone. Let's go. And find a book. Nighty night, little ducky. Sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Books! Yahoo! Any book, Scout? No, not yet. <gasps> but I found a little ducky. <laughs> <laughs> that duckling isn't sleepy at all. Nope. He really wants to play. Hey, ducky, try to get me. Boom! <laughs> Boomer, it's not playtime. I know. But maybe if we play chase, Ducky will get tired. <laughs> Great idea. Come on. If Ducky touches you, you're it. Then you have to try and catch someone by touching them. Right, Boomer? Right. Watch out, Crystal. Oh, no. Now I'm it. You better run. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get me. Oh, no. <laughs> Melody, I'm gonna get you. You can't catch me. Ah! <laughs> Over here, Crystal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're in again, little ducky. <laughs> ah! <laughs> One of us. Okay, I'm it. But her chase game isn't working. Ducky isn't getting tired at all. Uh, but I am. Me too. Phew! That was a lot of chasing. I'm not tired. Woohoo! A uh, boomer. We need to help Ducky get sleepy for his nap. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What should we do? Hmm. Hmm. Uh... I know, I know. When it's nap time and I'm not tired, I lie down like this. Ugh. Ooh, that might work. Come on, lie down. Ooh. Good. Now close your eyes. 
Please, you'll feel sleepy in no time. Whoa. Where's my stick? Written and illustrated by Fifi Colston. Aw, it's a little doggy. And she's wagging her tail. Waggle, waggle. <laughs> <laughs> that means she's happy. Maxie found a great stick on the beach. She buried it ready for next time. Maxie marked the spot with a pile of sand. She was sure to find her stick again. That's a good idea, Maxie. When Maxie came back, her pile of sand had gone. She didn't know where to dig to find her buried stick. Oh, no! The water washed the sand away. Maxie will never find her stick now. Poor Maxie. So Maxie looked for another stick to play with and found a bigger stick. Nothing will stop Maxie from having fun. Hey, look, Maxie found a stick and a rock. I think I know what she's going to do next. Maxie wanted to save her stick for next time. She saw a large rock and buried her stick right beside it. She was sure to find it again. Woohoo! That's just what I thought Maxie would do. I hope her plan works. Don't worry, Scout. Rocks are big and heavy. It's not going to move away like the sand did. Maxie left the beach, and so did the rock. Huh? Where did the rock go? When Maxie came back, she couldn't find the rock, so she couldn't find her stick. Whoops. Unless it wasn't a rock. It was a turtle. And the turtle swam away. I guess that wasn't a good place for Maxie to bury her stick after all. <sighs> I guess not. Maxie found an even bigger stick. The biggest stick she could find. I knew Maxie would find another stick. I knew it. Maxie spotted four shells on the beach and buried her stick right beside them. Maxie was sure to find her stick again. Maybe that's a better place to bury a stick. I don't know. Those shells don't look right. Hmm. When Maxie came back, the shells were walking away. Maxie didn't know where to dig to find her stick. Oh, no. What if there aren't any more sticks? What if Maxie never finds another stick ever again? I think she will. You'll see, Scout. Maxie found an even bigger stick to play with. A much, much bigger stick. Whoa! That's a really big one! The stick was so big that it took a lot of digging to bury it. Maxie has to work extra hard to bury that extra big stick. Yep, but she won't give up. Maxie made a pile of sticks to mark the spot. She was sure to find it again. Oh, I hope it works this time. Me too. And she did. When Maxie came back, she found her stick right where she'd buried it. She found something else, too. Good girl, Maxie. I wonder what else you'll find. Lots of new friends to play with. Yahoo! Maxie did it! She made new friends. You know what I like more than a story with a cute dog in it? A story with lots of cute dogs in it. Thank you, book. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Ta-da. This is fun. Flutter, flutter, <laughs> flutter. Woohoo! Come on, Scout. Flutter with us. Flutter, flutter, flutter. But I don't see any fairy wings. And I don't see any fairies. And it's still very dark. Ah! Whoa, but I do see a book. 
would you like to share your story with us? <laughs> Melody, you were right. We found a book. Woohoo! Yes! Story time! Flutter, 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 flutter. Is everyone close and comfy? Close and comfy. Let the story begin. Whoa. Where did you go today? By Jenny Duke. Wow, look how high she's swinging. That must be really fun. I wonder how she got up so high. Maybe she flew with fairy wings. Flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? What? I don't know. Let's turn the page and find out. Today, I flew over the trees. Look, now she's flying through the air. Wow! I climbed. She's climbing up the slide, I think. Up high. Whoa! She climbed all the way to the top. And she's waving at the birds. Maybe she wants to talk to them. I can talk to birds. You can? Sure. Tweet, tweet, tweet! <laughs> <laughs> and slid down a mountain. But she was climbing up a slide, not a mountain. Maybe she's pretending to slide down a mountain. That would be fun. You would go super fast. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I whirled round and round. Now the little girl is on the spinny thing in the playground. I wonder if she'll pretend she's on something else. And sailed as far as I could see. Yeah. She's pretending she's on a boat. Huh? When you pretend, everything you want can become a big adventure. Cool. I love adventure. I crawled ashore. Ooh, she's brave. You were brave too, Scout, when you came into Fairyland. <laughs> Through the dark and cold. Look at all the stars the girl is seeing in the dark. I see a spider web. I wonder where she's going next. Anywhere she wants, because she's using her imagination. Ooh. I raced. Across a desert. Wow, now she's riding a camel through the desert. Ooh, fun. And I zipped. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Through a jungle. Wow! I see an elephant. And a parrot. And a tiger. A zebra with black and white stripes. And a very tall giraffe. She sure has a big imagination. Anyone can use their imagination. and rode home all the way. To you. <laughs> she sure had a lot of fun. And even more fun when she used her imagination. She went to so many great places. And saw so many amazing animals. Thank you for your story. Goodbye! Great story! Bye! Books, books, looking for books, looking for books to share. Looking for books to share. Oh no. Hey! Where's Seymour? Zippy do. I can't find Dot Dot. Bell's gone too. We have to find them. How? 
listen to a story and look for our stone friends after. Hi there, books. Does one of you want to share a story with us? Yes! Story time! Is everyone close and comfy? Close and comfy. Let the story begin. Whoa. The Trip by Paul Beavis. Look, the girl and the dog are going on a trip. And they're going fast. It looks like they're in space. Me. You. Us. Look, the girl drew a picture of herself and her dog in a hot air balloon. What's a hot air balloon? A huge balloon floating in the sky that you can travel in. Yours. Look, a yummy bone for the dog. Mine. And a yummy apple for the girl. Ours. It's so nice that they'll share the water. I wonder where they're going. Maybe somewhere with lots of adventure. Yours. Where is she putting the ball? Mine. And what is she taking a picture of? It kind of looks like the hot air balloon. Ours. You were right, Melody. It is the hot air balloon. And they're going on a trip in it. You. Me. Us. Are they going into space? Whoa. Me. You. Us. Look, they landed somewhere. Yeah, but they look scared. But they have each other. Yours. Mine. Ours. You? Me? Us? Us. They are friendly. They're smiling. We. Look, the girl's sharing her food with their new friends. That's so nice. Yours? Mine? The girl and the dog live in a different place than their new friends. And they all traveled far to meet each other. Ours! The girl is showing her new friends that they can share all of space together. Nice! The same way we share things. Me. You. The girl and the dog are saying goodbye to their new friends. I wish I got to say goodbye to Seymour, my special stone friend. Don't worry, Scout. We'll look for all our stone friends some more. Us. Back home. Close and comfy. That was a great book. And a fun adventure. Thank you, book. Thanks. Bye. Bye, book. Come on, let's all be penguins. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> 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 Crystal, what kind of 
kind of penguin are you? <laughs> I'm a special sitting down penguin. <laughs> I guess a penguin isn't the best bird for me to be. Come on, everybody. Let's go find books. Huh? I hear something. Ooh, look, a woodpecker. <gasps> I know. Guess what I am? <laughs> that's easy. A woodpecker. <laughs> yup, and that's the best kind of bird for me because it's so loud. Peck, peck, peck. You tried, Crystal. Oops. Uh, what kind of woodpecker are you, Crystal? I'm a woodpecker without a peck. <laughs> 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 I guess a woodpecker isn't the best bird for me to be either. Let's go, everybody. We still have books to find. I'm going to keep it forever and ever. If you don't want to throw snowballs, how about we look for a book? That's a great idea. Let's go. Bookie, 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 books. Oh, books. Where are you? What an amazing snowball. So big and round and smooth. Huh? My paws are all wet and so cold. <laughs> hey, my snowball looks a little smaller. Look! Hmm, you're right. I think it is a tiny bit smaller. Yep, but just a teensy weensy bit smaller. Maybe I could hold it for a while so you can warm up your paws. Please be careful. It's the best snowball ever, and I don't want anything to happen to it. Don't worry about your snowball, Boomer. I'll be careful. Come on, let's find your book. Maybe we'll find a swirly snowflake book. Books, books, looking for books, looking for books to share. Could they be here? Could they be there? Looking for books to share. Hmm. Oh no, the snowball is shrinking! Hmm. The snowball is definitely getting smaller. What if my snowball gets so small? 
that it disappears. <gasps> hmm. Maybe your warm paws are melting it. That's why your paws are getting wet. And why the snowball is getting smaller. Poor snowball. I didn't mean to melt it. I don't want my snowball to melt. But if we carry it in our paws, there'll be nothing left of it. Ooh! I can carry it in a way that won't melt it. Really? Scout, quick! Give the snowball to Melody. Ta-da! Great idea. No warm paws means the snowball will stay frozen. Twirly, whirly, wee! <laughs> Phew! Thanks for saving my snowball. <laughs> Crystal the Curious. Crystal the Curious. I like that. Crystal the Curious is going to figure out where the books are. Books! Where are you, books? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa, what kind of bush is that? Crystal, Melody, Boomer, come and see this. Huh? Boom! See what? What is it, Scout? Uh, it was an amazing bush and it was right there. That's strange. How can a bush walk away? It can't. But Crystal the Curious will help figure it out. Scout, what did the bush look like? Well, it was about this big. <laughs> <laughs> That's really big. What color was the bush? It was mostly blue with some green, and it had spots on it that looked a bit like eyes. Lots of eyes. Blue with a bit of green and lots of eyes. Good clue, Scout. Let's keep our eyes open for the bush while we hunt for more books. I'm going to look farther down the path. Come on, everybody. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! What kind of snake is that? Everyone, come see the snake! Huh? Where is it? It was right in this tree. What did the snake look like? It was long, very thick, and blue and swishy. Blue. Oh, maybe it's the same thing you saw, Scout. It doesn't sound like the bush. But the bush was blue. But the bush that Scout saw was this big. That's true. Hmm. Crystal the Curious will figure out what the bush snake is. I'm going to look over there in those trees. Me too. I'll help. Boom! Huh? <gasps> wow. What kind of bird is that? Crystal, Scout, Melody, come see this bird. Huh? A bird? Where? I can't see it. It's gone. It was in that bush. What did the bird look like, Boomer? Like a king or a queen bird, because it had a crown on its head. Sounds like a fancy bird. Those books are good at hiding. <gasps> we can hide, too. Let's play Where Are You Bears? One bear is the finder. The finder closes their eyes and counts while the other bears go and hide. Oh, a hiding game. Yeah. And then the finder opens their eyes and tries to find everyone. I'm going to find the best hiding spot ever. Crystal, you'll be the finder. Boomer, let's hide while Crystal counts. Okay. Let's go. Hurry, find a spot. One bear, two bears, three bears, four. If I find one, I might find more. Aha! <laughs> Four bears, three bears, two bears, one. Here I come. The game's begun! No one will ever find me here. <gasps> what if my hiding spot is too good? What if Crystal never finds me? Uh, where is everyone? Ah, I see Boomer! Boomer, 
Why aren't you hiding? I thought you were going to find the best hiding spot ever. Well, I thought nobody would find me here. Really? Huh. Why don't you help me find the others? Now that's a great idea. Ooh, I know those cute little ears. Tickle, tickle, <laughs> Scout. You found me. I'm so happy we found you, Scout. And look, it's Melody. Ta-da! Here I am. Finally, we found you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Where Are You Bears game, Crystal. Me too. I can play it all day. All day? Boomer, next time you have to hide better. Can I hide with the others? If you all hide together, it'll be too easy for me to find you. Oh. Crystal, I have an idea. How about I be the finder this time? Sure. Yay! Let's go! But... One bear, two bears, three bears, uh. four. If I find one, I might find hmm. more. Four bears, three bears, two bears, one. Here I come, the game's begun! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Story time! Is everyone close and comfy? Huh? <laughs> close and, and comfy. comfy. Let the story begin. Whoa! My Tale's Not Tired by Jana Novotny Hunter. Illustrated by Paula Bowles. <laughs> you know what? My tail's not tired either. See? <laughs> Melody! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little monster, said Big Monster. You must be tired after your busy day. No, I'm not, said Little Monster, quick as a wink. My knees aren't tired. My knees have lots of bounces in them. Big Monster smiled. Show me. The Little Monster's gonna bounce. I can't wait. So, boing, boing, boing went Little Monster's knees until they had no more bounces left. Big Monster clapped. I bet your knees want to rest after that. Maybe a tiny bit, but my back won't lie still. It has to roly-poly around. All right then, show me. What's roly-poly? Let's find out. So, roly-poly-oly-o oh, went Little Monster until there were no more rolls left. Oh, I can do that. Do it! Wow! Roly-poly! <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular rolling, Big Monster said. That tired back must need rubbing. And Big Monster rubbed Little Monster's back over and over again. <sighs> Was that a yawn? Big Monster wondered. No, growled Little Monster. My voice isn't tired yet. Really? You'd better show me. I think Little Monster was yawning. But I think Little Monster will say, I'm really, really not tired. That's like you, Crystal. You really, really think our new animal friend is a horse. But it is a horse, I think. Surprise! The little monster jumped up like a jack-in-the-box. Big Monster was surprised. Now that has tired me out. Big Monster yawned. How about you? Little Monster flapped both arms. Not my arms! My arms need to fly like a jet plane! Big Monster sighed. Show me! Poor Big Monster's getting tired. But not Little Monster. Little Monster's arms are not tired at all. 
so... Zoom! 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 Went Little Monster round and round the room, landing hard on Big Monster's lap. Goodness! Big Monster gasped. Every bit of you must be tired after all that jetting about. Little Monster's horns wobbled. Yes, but my eyes aren't tired. My eyes want to open and shut. Open and shut. Open, shut. Shut. Look, Little Monster was tired. Shh. Good night, Little Monster. Sleep tight. Thanks for the story. If we were birds, we could fly up into the sky and get one. But what kind of birds would we be? I'd be a penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. But Scout, penguins can't fly. Then it's the best bird for me to be. I don't want to fly high up in the sky. Come on, let's all be penguins. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> 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 Whoopsie! <laughs> Crystal, what kind of penguin are you? <laughs> I'm a special sitting down penguin. <laughs> I guess a penguin isn't the best bird for me to be. Come on, everybody! Let's go find books! 